Hey everybody, what's up? We Mike here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Game Dev Kaikoon. Last episode, after I fixed uh, my mistakes from the previous episode, before last episode, uh, we actually made some more games for the TES-64 with the help of um, some publishing contracts or publishing deals, I forget which, and of course, they did okay, they didn't do, you know, like, nines and tens, but they did great. Well, they did good, I should say. And, of course, thanks to that, we actually, at the end of the episode, found out that we did, we had, we gained enough fans from making these new games that we have enough now that we can actually release the games without needing a publishing deal, and hopefully uh, that will go a little better now that we don't need the publishing deal. This episode, I don't know what we're doing yet. I have some ideas, but I don't know yet officially, so um, I'm just going to hop in here and see what happens. Uh, so, anyway, uh, yeah, I just want to say, guys, I'm sorry that it took that it took a while for me to start this series again. Uh, I know it's not too, you know, I know you guys aren't craving for it, and, uh, and you know dying for it or anything anything I know it's just been a while and I do apologize for that guys but with last week's announcement I just you know I just didn't feel like doing um, you know any uh, game dev Kaikoon episode so I thought the announcements would be better settled uh, it would be better you know for next last week than Game Dev Kaikoon Switch. I guess I could have did one, guys, but I didn't, so I apologize. I know it's been a while, but I'm hopefully going to get back into it. And hopefully, guys, I realized something. I'm hoping I can start another Let's Play series, maybe, guys, so that um, I'm not always focused on this and I can offer something else to you guys that isn't always Game Dev Kaikoon. Uh, so anyway, time travel and action. Um, I actually put a lot of thought of this, a lot of thought into this guy since uh, my last episode, and I actually figured out some good combos and some good games. So I'm actually going to use them here and see how they work again. Uh, the battle of the battle for the world. So uh, let's see how this goes. Um, yeah, TDS. We're going to use the 3D graphics. Hopefully this works. Um, I'm hoping maybe, guys, depending how much we unlock this uh, episode, maybe we can uh, do another... Maybe we can do another game engine here, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to take multiplayer off and do save game. I think that would be... I, I think people would... You know, I don't picture this game, and I know this may be stupid to you guys, but I don't picture this game that I'm making as a uh, uh, multiplayer. So I'm going to just make it a one player game and do a save game function. Even though I could do both, I just think this would be good. Okay, the. What's that say? Play System 2 is coming out. Okay. Well, good for it. I'm just not ready yet to leave the current console I'm on to actually go yet and make those. But maybe eventually I will. Um, dialogue's not really any important here, so um, yeah, I'm gonna leave everything there because maybe I want I probably want good level design and stuff. So I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, the Master V is no longer supported. And again, guys, it, it's a shame all the stuff, all the consoles that end before I can make stuff on, but it, it's kind of hard to do that when you're limited right now to only one console. So, uh, for now, unfortunately, I'm going to miss out on a lot of nice consoles, but hopefully in the future, I can use more than one console, but I don't know. Uh, so anyway, let's see. Um, I'm hoping this will do okay. I'm not sure how it will do. Uh, world design. Well, we're going to just leave everything like that. And I'm moving some of this down, hoping, guys, that this works out. It may, but I'm not sure. So, hopefully it will. We got 24 hype on this. Okay, let's see. Game novel wants to... What, 
they want. Okay, they want they want us to share some information. Let's see what's going on. Uh, engine or story? Well, I do know story and quest do not go well, so I'm gonna say engine and hope I don't mess myself up on that. Because if I remember correctly, it did not. Um, story and quest did not go too well. Okay, it looks like Game Fire is now off the market. I'm not going to read these numbers just to uh, save some time, guys. So, hopefully you had enough time there to read it. If not, too bad. Okay, let's see. Uh, I just thought I can speed up here a little bit. Okay. Seems that other professionals agree with us. Great. Looks like... Uh, looks like we got... Looks like we got the approval from other people in the industry. Thank goodness. Uh, they want us to upgrade again. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, no, no, they want us to get an air conditioner. Yes, I will pay 90,000 90, or whatever it was just to get some AC in here for my, uh, fellow companions here in the game industry so that we do not overheat, especially when we're releasing new content, uh, new uh, new uh, video games so okay let's see how this goes I'm gonna go ahead again hopefully this works didn't I hit it there we go okay good looks like the 3d graphics are going to version 2 and that might be something we want to look into later on as an upgrade V chip but for now I'm not gonna worry about since we got a new game engine out okay looks like the reviews are in Oh boy, I hope this is good. I hope this is good. Eight, okay, good, good. I'm hoping. Seven, okay, good, good, good. That's what we wanted. Eight, okay, great. Come on, come on. Yes, okay, great. This works. This definitely did work, guys. I'm happy about it. Uh, I'm going to generate game report. See how much we can research quick. See, we can oh we can research the v2 chip and I will um, I honestly don't know guys if it's worth it to do the second D chip yet because I mean we already have the third one but the other thing I'm thinking is if I make a another game engine maybe I should because that way then I'll have the latest version for the 2d chip and the 3d chip maybe so maybe I should just in case but for now I'm not going to worry about doing it and no we are not upgrading yet maybe at the end of this episode guys we will I'm not sure yet okay great 19th okay that's not too bad no not you know a great release but you know it's still good so Hey everyone, sorry about that. If you guys didn't hear anything, I apologize. My uh, mic kind of cut out at a uh, weird time. I don't know what caused it, but I just realized that it came back on when the game, well, that it was off when the game report started coming on. And I decided to pause my recording and fix that, so I apologize, guys. Um, I honestly don't know what I was talking about. Uh, when the mic was cut off, I don't know what it was. Probably something about um, research or something. Um, I, I mean, I really don't remember what uh, train of thought I was on. Uh, so anyway, we're going to continue from here. Uh, but the game report says that travel, tra time traveling, and action are a good combo, and that quest does not seem to be very important for this type of game, which we knew. Um, okay, let's see what's going on here. Okay, pl the play system 2 is just released. I don't remember if I was going in to hear anything. Uh, hmm, it really does not look like anything. I think we do have the 3D thing out, so anyway. Uh, I think we should do another video here, uh, another game here quick, guys. Um, I think, you know, it's been a while since we did it, and I'm thinking why not. Uh, so let's develop a sequel for a game. So I mean, I think, I think um, developing a sequel uh, actually is going to be an interesting mechanic here for us. 
because it gives us, you know, a chance to make a sequel for a game we already did. Uh, so I'm going to do the UFO Hunters. I think it, it'd be a good game. I'm going to do for everyone. Huh, thought something changed there. Uh, and I think we're going to change it to the TDS because I think our TDS people, TES64 people would love to have the, um, uh, would love to have the hunter sorry guys would love to have the UFO hunter hunter series added to you know their game collection for the TDS 64 uh, so I think for this one we're gonna call it UFO hunters 64 stars or since it has to do with space, I think it'd be an appropriate thing. So let's make, yep, and this time it'll be in 3D. And I think that's going to be interesting to see this game in the 3D. In the 3D, the graphic uh, world now. Okay, so well, let's see. 180 and then nothing. Okay, so I think, oop, I don't want it to go down that far, let's do that. Um, save game I think is still fair, uh, I want to leave everything like that, so I'm going to do that, that here, and hopefully, oh, we got one hype for this game already, uh, hopefully this will work out for the people who already played the UFO Hunters, and see that it's going to be for the TDS-64, hopefully they'll want to buy it, and you know, tell all their friends so they can buy it, and hopefully it'll be a better success on the TDS-64 than it was on uh, the computer, so we'll have to see then when we're done here what the uh, star ranking was, what the, excuse me, what, yeah, star ranking was, the overall rating was for the computer compared to the version on the TDS-64. Okay, so let's see. Uh, still the same here. I think we want to do all that. Um, I don't know. I don't really think I want level design, a uh, level editor. Hopefully it doesn't bite me in the butt, but I'm thinking why do that for this UFO Hunter game? Of uh, large convention, I think for this convention, guys, we should try the large booth. Even though it's 1.5 mil, I think we should try it. So let's do that. And let's see. Okay, we're gonna, okay there we go. Uh, let's see. World design is zero, so I don't want to add anything there. Um, I'm hoping the large booth, along with the hype meter, will help make this game great but also I'm hoping since it's a sequel it will work out out better either, um, you know in the market than you know those other games did okay looks like the battle for the world has ended and I'm gonna just click OK and hopefully this works out and I am excited guys I forgot to mention I am excited that our that we are making our first sequel sequel game for our game company because we haven't done a sequel yet and I think it's gonna be great. All right, we made we had three hundred and seventy-seven thousand six hundred and forty-two people visit our booth booth this year, and we are actually in the top one hundred. We are ranked at eighty-five for the most people at a booth this this time and that's great that is actually great and our hype went up because of that hopefully we have no bugs after this but this is great 164 hype and looks like we set a new record for the blue that's great oh my I just can't believe this we actually let me go a little forward guys I'm sorry about that this is actually great. I am excited that this is actually happening. I feel like this is actually working out for us this year, uh, this time, compared to um, how it did in previous episodes. It was, it, to me, it seems like everything's 
more working now than you know it has um, in the past episode so hopefully this is all gonna work out for us okay so I'm gonna release game and hopefully it's great okay two people want raises they're gonna get raises special training available and stuff and let me everyone's gonna go on vacation because you all look like you need one and I will actually whoop I wonder if everyone wants vacation okay this, the rains are in oh my gosh ten guys this is great this is great we may actually do so oh my gosh two tens can we do it yes three, three tens okay here we go guys let's see what happens a nine okay great guys I'm so excited I'm sorry about my hands but I'm so excited oh my gosh this is great I'm gonna generate report I'm actually gonna save this because I cannot believe we actually made a game that was so good and it's ranked in the top six wow I'm I'm so happy about this guys uh, no Rachel we are not upgrading yet oh my goodness I'm so excited all oh, right the sequel has just been released for the UFO hunters the newest game series tell UFO hunter 64 stars was met with outstanding responses that is great and I'm gonna actually do the multi-gender thing here or genre or whatever it is and add that to our you know thing add that to our collection of stuff that we unlocked I just cannot believe this we just got word that the UFO Hunter 64 star which was recently released by Mega WM Game Studios has ranked up over 500,000 in sales the excitement around the game seems to have no end great I am happy that the game sequel has actually worked out and the graphics have actually the graphics seem to be very important in this game alright this is great how this works out ladies and gentlemen the surprise hit of the year is the UFO Hunter 64 stars by Mega WM Game Studios rarely managing a game to blend the AI so well into the game world that you just feel completely I'm skipping that word a stellar effort by Mega WM Game Studios Josh Green Gaming World okay great so once I am once this guy is done researching here okay let's see we just got word that UFO Hunter 64 stars which was recently released by Mega WM Game Studios has ranked over a million in sales if the game were a music record it would have platinum status okay that is just great guys oh my gosh this is great I actually did not expect to sell this many copies of this game but it worked out alright we have just done that so now we are going to develop let me see here we are going to develop a new game quick and let's see we can pick two two now if we want I don't know if I'm going to do that yet, uh, but of course one more game I like to at least try that I've been, uh, you know, I've been kind of wondering what, you know, what would happen is I'm going to do a life sim game because we haven't done any for a while. And of course we haven't done any in a, in a while for gameling, so I think we should try it and we should do version, we should use our newest game engine hopefully this will work out because we have not done you know a game for this in a while so hopefully we can still uh, you know still do good and of course the game I'm gonna call it baseball player tycoon we are gonna give players the feel that they are actually gonna play a baseball game on the game lane portable of course so this will be interesting and it's in 3D because the last time I remember the game Ling game did not have 3D graphics so of course we are going to make a 3D game for it to hopefully spark more interest in the game Ling. Okay here so what we are going to do is we are going to match this about and we are going to go there. Hopefully this works out. Um, engine 
Yeah, we're gonna have save, and I'm gonna do all that. Hopefully, this works. Okay, good. We have, we have. Wow, we actually have over 15 height right now for this game. Hopefully, this works out here, guys. I'm so excited that our last game worked out. That I can't wait to see how this game works out because if we can make two hit games in a row, I think we may just have got our lucky break. Okay, so this next one. Uh, six, zero, eighty, and hundred. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave. Um, do we want level editor? No, we do not want level editor on that. Okay, so hopefully this will be a good. Okay, large games is now available to us. Uh, we might have to consider it in the future, but right now, not this episode, of course. Okay, so forty. Four, now fifty hype. I'm sorry, I was gonna say forty nine hype. Now we have fifty hype. Okay, so this one, of course. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna go with stereo sound. I'm not sure how that would be on a portable device, uh, but we're just gonna do that. See how that goes. I think this is gonna be good, maybe. I'm not sure. Let's see what happens. Do I want to switch any of these guys before I click OK? I should give Edgar more of a chance. Even though he's low, he has the tech. He actually has better, the third highest tech for our group. But like the lowest design. So I should someday give him better design so that he can come up with us. Because he's like the last person with the low. He's like the least person with the design. And uh, Gable, I believe it is, has the, uh, you know, has the fourth lowest. So I think I'm just going to keep going. Hopefully this will work out. Now uh, the hype's still going. Hopefully this will work out for us. I'm hoping it actually does, guys, because this would actually be great. Oh, looks like our UFO Hunter 64 star is now off. Wow, look at those numbers. I'm happy about that, guys. We actually generate a lot from this, I believe. I'm going to save this, I think, right now, because the hype's high. I'm hoping that the game will not... Okay. Another investment. Uh, let's see. Now we are declining. I believe it's one of those scams again, like I showed you guys on this game before. So I'm going to finish and hopefully. Okay, let's see how this goes. Okay, great. A new record. I thought we had a record before like that, but I don't know. Uh, so, okay, numbers are going up. That's good. Release game. Mini games have now been unlocked. Might have to. Okay, let's see how this goes. Nine. Okay, great. Okay, let's see how else we do. Nine. Okay, great. Nine. Okay, great. Can we get at least one ten? Nine. Okay, great. I'll I'll take it, guys. Considering we did go on our last game. We're going to have you research mini games. Uh, no, Edgar. Okay, guys, sorry about that. And then I think I'm going to generate our report and I'm going to save it and stuff and see where we go from here. Now, if we just get a little bit more, which I think we can. Okay, achievements are unlocked. And we are going to research again. Now, what the question is, what do I want? Branch story? I mean, excuse me. Branching story or achievements? I think I'm actually going to unlock achievements here and stuff. Uh, see how this goes. But we're so close to 40 again if we would have to. Okay, word. We just got word that Baseball Player Tycoon, which was recently released by Mega... WM Game Studios has ranked over, racked up over 500,000 in sales. We wonder how many more it will sell. I wonder too, but I mean, you know, I'm excited so far on how, uh, you know, this went. Okay, life and simulation is a great combo, and dialogue seems not to be important for this type of game. Yep. I, you know, I'm very excited, guys, that, uh, you know, we done so f we done great so far in this episode. Uh, Nigeria scam. We're gonna we're 
I'm just gonna click OK here. I'm glad we didn't, you know, do that, guys. I had a feeling that's what it was, but I didn't want to, you know, um, you know, I didn't want to click OK, open, you know. I, I just wanted to ignore it, guys. I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought there. I just wanted to ignore it and not lose any money. Okay, looks like a lot of great surprises waiting for you in Baseball Player Tycoon. Uh, the effort really paid off. A stellar effort by Mega WM Doom Studios. Okay, well, thank you, Gary, for that. Because I honestly didn't know we were going to make these great games. And I think what I'm going to do here, guys, is I think we need another game engine. Oh, excuse me about that, guys. Since we have enough money, I think we can always use another game engine. And since we have updated versions of stuff, why not? And we have achievements. So, you know, I mean, there's so much we, so much more we can add a little bit to this. Not, you know, not, like, big stuff, but, you know. Nevertheless, I mean, you know, we have so much more we can add. We might as well at this point and see what happens from here. But we could always use another, you know, game engine such as, so of course we're going to call it the WM Skill. I can't spell skill today. Skill System version 3.2 because obviously this is a point version better than the last one we have. So, hopefully this will do good, and we are, it looks like we're getting research um, as we go. So I'm just going to save every now and then. Okay, recently we got away the vehicle player. Oh, I racked up a million, one million cell. Okay, great. Well done. Yes, thank you guys for that. Well done indeed. I didn't expect us to do this well. We're still in the top 10 now. We're in the top 11, but we have over 150,000 fans dedicated to our games now because of our two great hits and everything and I think that's great and look at all the additional features we now have because of our successful two games and our uh, okay or good game came uh, the first one we did so I mean it, I'm just happy at all the new fans now through the free games we just made and we got a lot of research now so of course I'm gonna do one more well, okay, looks like the WM skill system version 3.2 is now unlocked. Yep. And we are going to research that last graphic one. Oh, no, not last graphic. We are going to research the large, uh, the large games is down there. We are going to research the uh, bracking story here, guys. So we can, you know, get more, uh, more stuff. In later versions of our skill system for upcoming games. Okay, looks like it's now off the market. Wow, look at those numbers. I'm just going to click OK here now. And, uh, okay, great. And we're going to go with large boof again since we have the cash. And that's another reason why I decided to do the game engine because we have the cash. Uh, so, anyway, guys, I think I'm going to call it off here since. You know, we just got the large boot. We just finished three games, two which were great, and one that was, I keep saying okay, but I think it was good, because, you know, it didn't go below five, and it didn't get a six, but, you know, it, it did okay and stuff, and, you know, I think that's, uh, you know, I think that's very great. Oh, wait a minute, guys, I, I promised you one thing before I came off. I didn't do it yet, and I just thought I better do it. Uh, UFO Hunters sequel for the TDS 64 was a 9.75 and of course the original one UFO Hunters was a 7 on the PC so we actually beat it by 2 point was it 75 I think 2.75 no wait a minute wrong one <laughs> sorry about that guy oh come on yes 2.75 in the ranking we beat it by so that is very good uh, so anyway guys, like I said, I'm going to end it off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I apologize this episode was longer, but since we haven't done one for maybe at least two weeks or close to two weeks now, I thought this one can actually 
uh, use the extra length for the catch up since I missed a good bit of days that could have been important. So anyway guys, thank you again so much for watching. Uh, leave a like, comment, uh, yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever you guys want to do would be greatly appreciated. Again, I'm on Facebook. Check me out if you can. You don't have to like me or, you know, anything on Facebook. Just check it out, though. I would uh, greatly appreciate that. And again, guys, anything you guys can do would be greatly appreciated because you guys are awesome. And I appreciate uh, my now 41 subscribers. Since my last video, I gained a few more subscribers, and I felt bad that I did not uh, use the updated numbers because I already recorded, um, you know, uh, record my last video which I think was the NX and I gained a like a new subscriber or two since that video was recorded so I couldn't add them into that so now I want to thank all 41 subscribers now new updated of course and I appreciate you guys and all my future subscribers and watchers uh, you guys are awesome I appreciate you guys so much for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next episode. So until then, guys, see ya.